Okay, let's talk about pre-warming. So this is a pretty naive prompt. So I can have a list of product names for a pair of shoes that can fit any foot size. It's just gonna see what it comes back with. Okay, we've got some pretty interesting names. Okay, but we don't know if these names are any good and uh, ChatGPT doesn't either, right? Like it's just following one token after another. It's not very good at self-reflection here and we haven't really given it any guidance. And you could obviously go in, you give it some, some tips. You could say memorable, easy to understand. And, and then if we put those into bullet points, then we'll see what we get back. And we should hopefully get uh, something a little bit different. Yeah, so I think these are definitely a little bit easier, right? They're a lot less complex, less syllables. But the problem is we had to come up with this context and it's super painful to have to do that a lot of times. So one really quick, easy way to do it is funny, is pre-warming. So what we do instead is you say, can you give advice or let's say five tips, five tips on how to craft a good product name and I'm going to submit. And it's pretty good at deciding what is a good product name, right? Like it's seen that in the training data and it can give us some pretty good advice that it maybe wouldn't even follow itself by default because you're not giving it any direction. And in this case, you're asking it to self-direct, right? We are asking it for tips first. And then after that, so the magic happens, you just say, uh, can I have a list of product names that for shoes that fit any shoe size? All right, and now it should be using this actual advice. And we can make it even more explicit. This is good in itself. I find that even just asking if you have a task, how would you do this task? And then asking it to do the task is pretty good in itself. But if you want to make it more explicit, you can just prepend it with using this advice. Can I have a list of shoe sizes or a list of product names? So shoes that fit any size. And if you, oh, sorry, that's my fault. I left the other message in there, forgot to delete it. Okay, so I think these are a lot better. They definitely seem more simple, relatable, they're unique, are they a bit more memorable, I think. One size step in particular, I like. Universal stride, adaptive walk, those are pretty cool. Omnisize sneakers. These are much better names, I think, than we were getting before. We could also, actually, yeah, sorry, let's submit that again. It was, yeah, magic, magic size shoes, adapt step. Cool. And then we're going to add this one more thing. So we've now pre warmed it with the advice and we've asked it to do the task. And we can also ask it to rate the task afterwards. Say, uh, rate the names based on the five tips. Here we go. And now it's applying its own advice to its own names. And uh, we've completed the full loop of quite a complex task. And we have actual justifications for each name now as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is just a little trick and it works with ChatGPT, works with the playground as well. Don't bother doing your own warm up, get it to warm up itself.